Thanks for watching this first video in a series of work solutions for Edexcel GCSE Computer Science, designed for students to help you prepare and revise for paper one. All of these videos will work through the same past paper, one question at a time. Past paper we're going to use isn't an official Edexcel one, um, but it's one that I've written to be similar to the one that students sat in the summer of 2018. So um, it's the same sort of structure and a similar content, but different enough so that it won't be um, cheating if you have that exam as a, as a mock. Okay, so for each video, um, we'll start by giving the answers to the question covered in the previous video, and then we'll read through the question, highlight the key terms, talk about the theory that you need to know for it, and then the video will finish and give you some time to work through at your own pace. So you should find a link to the past paper that we're looking at um, uh, on at the bottom of this video. Um, and also you'll see links to the keyword activities for the learning objectives covered by each video. Um, so for example, 3.3.1, you should find a link to the keyword activities. You've got all of the keywords covered, a definition for each one, and then you can either play some of the, the games to test yourself on these, or you can print this off and cover the left-hand side up and test yourself on the definitions, or cover the right-hand side up and test yourself on the keywords, whatever works for you for revision. So let's start with this first question. Um, if we have a look to begin with, we'll read through the question and highlight the key terms. So, a revision podcast contains information about computer science topics. Podcast 1 is recorded using a sampling frequency of 44 kilohertz. So I'm going to highlight the key terms here. 44 kilohertz means 44,000 times every second we record the amplitude of the sound wave. Um, so, each sample takes 16 bits to record and there's no compression. If we have a look at what that will look like um, in a recording, the amplitude means how high up and down um, the sound wave is and you need to sample that to remember it 44,000 times every second. So if we zoom in you can see these blobs here that means every um, 44,000th of a second you remember a new measure of the amplitude. So we go back to our um, paper. Um, we highlighted the sample frequency 44,000 times every second, 16 bits per sample, no compression, so it's not an MP3. Every sample's saved um, in full quality. We need to construct an expression. Now that's important because we're not actually calculating the value, we're just writing down a mathematical expression. You'll see what that looks like in a moment. Um, to calculate how many bits are needed for one second of mono audio. Mono means we've only got one track rather than stereo where you'd have two tracks, one for the left ear, one for the right ear. So normally the video would finish at this point and you'd work it out at your own pace, but this is the first video so we'll do an example together. It's only worth one mark and we, again, we don't have to give the answer, we just have to um, construct an expression. So if we have a sample 44,000 times every second, um, you need to write down 44,000, that's our sampling frequency, multiplied by the number of bits for each sample. So we've got 16 bits per sample, 44,000 times every second, that will get you your mark. We'll also read through the second part of the question, but we're not going to give the answer for this one just yet. So the podcast team try recording podcast 2 using 4-bit audio instead of 16 bits sampled at 8 kilohertz instead. So instead of 44,000 times a second, it's 8,000 times a second. You need to describe, that's your keyword, the difference in file size and sound quality that they can expect between the two, and we've got three marks to go for. Okay, so read through the definitions and the keywords, have a go, and then watch the next video when you want to check your, your answers and with the work solution. Thanks for watching.